Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and in this video I want to show you how to configure the multi-viewers coming out of the back of your TriCaster. Now depending on which version of TriCaster you have, you may have either one or two different multi-viewer monitor ports. For you to plug in a monitor to say just to have a confidence monitor, do your scopes, whatever. So let's dive into the interface and take a look. Now in order for me to demonstrate this, I'm going to have to be jumping between my TriCaster interface and my TriCaster multi-viewer output. Now I'm on a TriCaster TC1, so I have three different outputs. I have my interface output, which is a DVI connection to a monitor here in my desk. And then I also have a, a HDMI or a display port to where I can plug in a monitor as well. Now I'm going to only be using one monitor for this particular example, but you can plug in two and the same concept will apply. So, uh, first let's take a look at uh, where to configure your interface. So, on the TriCaster interface, we'll go to the top of the screen and click on Workspaces. And the first thing I want to show off is MultiViewer 1, which is your interface monitor. And from here, this is where you can select different layouts of how you can view your different inputs. So, I'm going to keep it on C just to keep it nice and neat here. But now, if we take a look under Workspaces, I have a second monitor plugged into my HDMI output, and that's what MultiView 2 is. So right now I have this selected, so this B, so I have like three at the top, and then it's gonna be what? Five by three kind of grid. Let's take a look. So let's go take a look over on the MultiViewer, and here is the output of that. So this would appear on a screen that would be completely separate from your interface monitor. So you can use this to monitor different inputs um, of your choice, uh, or, for example, use as a confidence monitor, etc. Let's go back over to the TriCaster interface. And let me show you some of the other settings that we have. So if I click on Load Default, you'll see we have a bunch of different layouts for different shots here. So you can make it as uh, a 4x4 four four mode. Now it says Media Players here. Now I do want to mention that uh, you can make these customized to however you want. So for example, right now I have this saying DDR1, but if I right click on it, I can select specific inputs. So I can either make these uh, inputs or just keep them uh, the, the default settings that I have here. So it's really up to you on how you want to configure that. So let's go back to the interface here and let me load up the A output here. And this is just going to be the, just a main full screen uh, output. So this is great to send back to your talent if you're, say, using a, like a news scenario and they want to have a monitor so they can see themselves on screen. Perfect for that. So. Uh, from here, I have this currently set up to where it's showing my DDR, but again, if I right click on it, I can say make that my program output. And boom, here's me in my virtual set. How about that? Now, let's go back into the TriCaster TC1 interface and show you a few different other settings that we have. Uh, so, for example, we do have an option here to monitor your scopes. So, if you need to do any color balancing or white balancing, you can do that from this mode as well. Right, so let me go back to the TriCaster interface and let me select one of the default modes here. So all with clock. Okay, so this is a good one here. Put it on a big monitor so you can see all of your inputs at a time. So what's nice about this is you'll see uh, at the very top of the screen we have our uh, program output on the right still, but then we also have our preview uh, as well. And I wanted to mention that within all of these you can still alter the settings of that particular input or output from this monitor. So on the multi-viewer, let's say under my program output, if I click on the gear configuration for that, I have access to all the output configurations of my session. Uh, or if I go into, say, uh, my input number three here, I can change the settings of that as well. So I can go through and, you know, turn off my live mat, uh, et cetera. So you can still make different adjustments from these different inputs. Uh, so let me go ahead and I'm going to bring in... I'm going to replace input 10 with my media player like DDR1. And then you'll see here at the bottom, not only can I go through and you know, change the settings of this particular input, but then I can also start my recording, make my, my, my playback from here, uh, advance between different clips as well. So as you can see, configuring your multi-view reports is a great way to expand your workflow and get your job done a lot easier. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration with yours truly, and I'll show you all the ins and outs of our system. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us on Instagram. And for more videos like this, please go to youtube.com slash newtechinc. Until then,
Thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorial.